I can't say that I've ever cooked a meal on a sailboat, but um, we'll see. Maybe this is it. Yeah, I think this is it. Brian. Hey, how are you? We found you. I'm Jack Berg. Jack Berg, Brian I'm the, Young. It's nice to meet you. I'm the desperate chef. Permission to come aboard and cook Absolutely. you some and cook you some delicious food. All right. How's that? In, okay, great. Thanks, man. Thanks, I can't believe we found you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, one ways out here. This is great, this is great. I can't say I've ever uh, cooked for anybody on a boat, but no? yeah, first, first, time, time. first time for everything, right? It is, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't do much cooking here. <laughs> it's kind of challenging. Okay. Watch my head here. Yeah. Ooh, it's tight. All right. Here we are in the galley. The, the windlass. The, the galley, the, the galley of the name. windlass. Yes. All right. Yes. Where'd you? How'd you come up with the name? Uh, well, it's a play on an ancient Chinese uh, anchor oh. um, winch. Okay. But the way I've got the flag, it's a it's a lady. So windlass. I like it. I like it. Yeah. A little yeah. double meaning there. That's right. That's right. So tight space down in here in the galley of the of the windlass. I'm curious about how you how you go about cooking a meal down there. Okay. It's challenging. We have very little to work with, uh -huh. but uh, what we have is we have a microwave, which I don't like to use. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a stove. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the koozie holder the right koozie. now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but we, we've got a stove underneath this, uh, alcohol burners, okay. which is actually, it's, it's great. Um, it's just a consistent, it's just like a stove top. Mm -hmm. And sure. then out back we've got a stove, uh -huh. or a grill, uh -huh. a propane grill. Uh -huh. So, but uh, I do very little cooking here, oh, okay. just because it's just kind of challenging. Yeah, I can understand that for yeah. sure. Oh, you got plenty of stuff in here, Brian. Look at this. Crucial. Crucial. Crucial olive oil. Base. Some pasta. Some pasta sauce. Oh yeah. You have some sort of. Okay. So the, yeah, this here. is refrigerator. Refrigerator mostly. Uh, mostly beverages. Okay. Um, the, well, you need beverages. Yeah. When you're, when you're at sea. Absolutely. You need Most beverages. of it being alcoholic. But, uh, <laughs> well, you know, no judgment here. That's I'm right. Gonna, I'm just going to hold this like this. Um, okay, so I see a fresh lime here. That looks great. What do we got here? Oh, venison steaks. Well, that's, I'm definitely have my eyes on that. Some green onion. That's fantastic. Up here, ramen noodles, garlic, and black bean soup. Well, you know, it, it's a, we have a few things and I'm, I'm, can you work with it? I'm fairly certain I can work with yeah. it. All yeah. Right, good. My first order of business is to marinate the venison. Step one, peel and chop some garlic. Then we're gonna hit it with a little olive oil. I'm cutting the venison into thin strips to expose the maximum amount of surface area since we don't have a few hours to marinate, we want to inject as much flavor as possible. Plenty of salt and pepper. Venison can be a little gamey and not everybody likes that. So we're gonna season it pretty heavily. And to top it off, some ginger ale and Tabasco sauce. Bring your water to a boil before dropping the pasta in. Eight minutes should give you a nice al dente spaghetti. And we're doing a real simple sauce here, olive oil, green onions, and jalapenos. Garnish with some Chinese crackers and onion for some extra crunch. Yeah, we need to open, you got something? Uh, I don't. Uh, work something out, but... Hand that, um, there we go. That's the thing about when you're Cooking and eating be, and drinking on a boat. You gotta be yeah, resourceful. You gotta right? be resourceful, my man. Cheers, Brian. Thank I, you so much. You know, man. I tell you, this is amazing. I could never thought it was possible on a boat of this size, <laughs> right? Me neither. It was tough, but we 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 uh, just squeaked by here, I think. <laughs> Beautiful uh venison pasta here, you know, courtesy of the windlass. I'd say, man. We should do this more often, is what I, I, I would so. say. I think mean, so. This is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. Same. All right, so 
Tell take me about this a little bit. Okay, yeah. So we did. Um, we cooked the. We cooked the spaghetti al dente. We did the venison that had been marinated in olive oil, ginger ale, salt, pepper, garlic. We did that on your grill over there. Um, and those are the two main components. And then, and then I have fresh green onion garnish. And then we did these crispy wontons. And then I, I did lime juice over the whole over the whole thing. So you really kind of have a cross between a Mediterranean and almost an Asian thing happening here. I'm excited to try it. Mmm. Pretty good. Killer, my man. Not bad. Killer, what are you talking about? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Brian, thank you again for having us aboard the Windlass. It's been definitely a learning experience for me. I know it was a challenge. And a challenge, but, <laughs> but we like, on the Desperate you, Chef, we like that. We like you, a challenge. You so. came out on top. This is incredibly delicious. Thanks, man. I'm glad you like it, and uh, we'll have to do it again sometime. Hmm. How do we set that up? I don't know. Caroline. <laughs>